Hey guys, uh, this is Devani talking and we are filming Dad Coleman Howdy. out here in the garden. He's going to talk about tomatoes and what he's doing to prepare for the tomatoes because we're all ready for tomatoes. We're all for tomatoes here <laughs> and right now it's toward the end of April here, zone 7A. And that means, uh, well, it's not just the zone, it's also the last frost date which on average in this area is around May the 11th. So we're kind of pushing the envelope here, but we want to get some tomatoes in the ground. And one of the techniques is to warm the soil before planting and then mulch over after you have planted so that the soil retains that warm temperature in spite of it dropping down. Now an ideal temperature is 60 degrees and above. So we're going to have a look at what we've been doing here to boost that temperature so that we can do some planting today and get an early start on the tomatoes. Okay, well, we'll come on through here. Now we revamped these beds here. We, we redid these beds uh, last weekend and this is where straw bales were. They composted down and left some really nice compostable material. We worked that up. We put in um, hardware cloth and cardboard to slow down the root intrusion which is really important since we have a big, huge, um, big, huge Maple? tulip, no, tulip. tulip poplar here that just insinuates itself everywhere with its roots. So uh, about a week ago, I laid this clear plastic down. It's like nine mil plastic. You can get it anywhere. It's several layers. You could probably get by with just one layer. And uh, we laid it over our soil bed, our, our planting bed. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what the temperature is just outside here on the ground. It's about 90, 89. Now this is on the wood chips. If I scrape away and down to the cooler stuff, it drops down to 72. Okay. And that's a little bit in the shade. 72, 68. Good. Now watch this. We peel this back. So obviously this, once we take this off and plant it in here, uh, put on the cover mulch layer, it's going to be reduced. But we want to hit around at least 60 minimum and um, get our tomatoes off to a good start. Now one of the things we're going to do here after we take this cover off is use this red plastic mulch. It's not your typical plastic. It, it has some very fine holes in it that allow water penetration. I don't know that you can see them actually. Um, but they, um, this material was ordered from Gardener Supply and you can get it up on Amazon too, I believe. And red mulch has a reputation. It's even been scientifically tested and indicates that tomatoes like this material at the base as a mulch. So this is going down after we take out this, then we're going to pin it down with these landscape staples. Okay. We need to do something and then we'll probably come on the edges with some, um, that's still an evolving as to what we'll do. We're going to come in with some wood chips on the edges and uh, that should help as well. Also help pin down the uh, this fabric. The wind's blowing pretty good today. And we don't want this stuff blowing off. That is our little trick that I wanted to show you guys. And uh, if you're trying anything like this or similar, we'd love to hear from you. Just uh, write in on our Facebook page and let us know what you're doing. We're really interested. This is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Grow great gardens. So long.